Today, the appeals chamber is delivering its uh, judgment on the appeals brought by the Republic of Kenya against the decision of pretrial chamber two of 30th May 2011 on the admissibility of the two cases against Mr. Ruto and others and against Mr. Mudaura and others. The judgment of the appeals chamber is by majority with the judge Anita Ushaska dissenting. The provision does not require a state to challenge admissibility just because the court has issued summons to appear. Accordingly, given the specific stage that the proceedings had reached, the appeals chamber finds that the same person, same conduct test that the pretrial chamber applied was the correct one. The pretrial chamber thus committed no error of law. Regarding an alleged error of fact, the appeals chamber has ruled in previous decisions that its review is corrective and not de novo. It will therefore not interfere unless it is shown that the pretrial or trial chamber committed a clear error. That is to say, it's, it misappropriated the facts, took into account irrelevant facts, or failed to take into account relevant facts. As to the misappreciation of facts, the appeals chamber will not disturb a pretrial or trial chamber's evaluation of the facts just because the appeals chamber might have come to a different conclusion. It will interfere only in the case where it cannot discern how the chamber's conclusion could have reasonably been reached from the evidence before it. Thus, in the present appeals, unless such clear errors have been demonstrated, the appeals chamber will defer to the pretrial chamber's factual finding that it had not been proven that the appellant was actually investigating the three suspects. The appeals chamber notes that the pretrial chamber found that the appellant's assertions that an investigation was ongoing in respect of the six suspects was insufficient. The pretrial chamber required the proof that the appellant was actually taking specific steps to investigate the suspects. The appeals chamber cannot identify any error in this. The appeals chamber is satisfied that the pretrial chamber correctly decided that the cases against the suspects are, ad are admissible. The appeals chamber, therefore, considers it appropriate to confirm the decisions and to dismiss the appeals. Judge Ushaska disagrees with the majority that the impunity decision should be confirmed and therefore dissents from the judgment. She considers that pretrial chamber to erred in the way it conducted the proceedings under Rule 58 of the Rules of Procedure and Evidence. 